Hello everyone who watches this video. As usual, we are very glad to see you on our channel. We arrived at the next search for ancient artifacts with metal detectors. We will work on the vanished old settlement. Now on this place is quite a large field. A few days ago, the tractor drivers plowed this field, which of course made us come here immediately. We have been waiting for this. This place is very promising, especially after plowing. We have to meet with a huge amount of garbage, but the finds that come across here are worth it. Stay with us and watch this video to the end. We will begin. The first color signal sounded, which brought me a find in the form of a lead seal. I believe that this is an old seal of the times of the Russian Empire. Let's clean it and find out. After a small purge, we clearly see a double-headed eagle on one side. As I expected, this is an imperial seal. On the other side of the find, we see inscriptions around it in the center. Unfortunately, I cannot make out what is written here. But I definitely see that this is not a modern Russian language, but a pre-revolutionary Russian. Fine. Let's continue. As the next find, we have a pre-reformed 20 kopecks. I have not yet cleared this coin, but I already see that its condition is excellent. Good preservation of the finds due to the peculiarity of the soil. This is not black soil, and not sand. The soil is dry, more like dust. We have 20 kopecks of 1933. On the obverse is a blacksmith with a hammer and a shield. Beautiful coin. As the next find, we have an imperial copper coin. Judging by the size it is one kopeck. Let's take a closer look. I was not mistaken. We have one kopeck of 1898. It was the epoch of Nicholas II. The condition of the coin is good. Let's continue to search. I found the next find, or rather what was left of it. Unfortunately, I only got a chip. Do you know what it is? This is a piece of an old cigarette case. Probably a beautiful thing once. There are also silver remains. Very sorry. Later I also came across an unusual find. We see the double-headed eagle of the house of Romanovs. I haven't cleaned it yet, so let's do it right now. Most likely, we have some old cockade in the form of a double-headed eagle. On the back side of the cockade should be a mount that is missing. In general, the thing looks beautiful. Look at the back and you will see gilding in some places. This means that the it was gilded. Pretty fine. Let's go ahead. The long-awaited copper signal has just sounded. I found an imperial coin. My partner just contacted me on the radio and said that he had also found a copper coin. Fine. 
The collection of funds continues to grow. Let's clean this coin. We have three culpics of 1912. I am pleased with this find, because the three culpic coins come across less often. The safety of the coin also pleases. I simply adore the soil in this field and the field as a whole. My partner came up to me to show his find, about which he told me on the radio. He has a similar coin, but smaller. Two kelpiks of 1908. The condition of this coin is even more beautiful than mine. Good job! The next coin just blew our brains out. We got a big silver coin, although we expected to get a copper one. Finds are sometimes so unpredictable. Emotions are simply overwhelming. I even accidentally sweared by surprise. You can congratulate my partner in the comments. We see 50 copics of 1896. Here we see an image of a double-headed eagle, which is familiar to us all, whose chest is covered with a shield depicting George the Victorious, striking a dragon. If you turn the coin to the other side, you will see in the center the profile of Emperor Nicholas II. Also we see inscriptions. The 50 Kovac coin of Nicholas II with silver began to be issued only a year after the enthronement of the king, since the carver needed time to create an autograph's quality profile on the coin stand. The portrait of the emperor was made by the talented artist and carver Anton Vesudinsky, who worked as a senior medalist at the Mint of St. Petersburg. After the revolution also known for creating the profile of Lenin for medals and orders. Coins of 50 Kopecks were minted annually from 1895 to 1914, of high quality silver. Great find. Let's continue to search. A little later, I found the next coin. This is a rather small copper coin of early Soviet times. Let's clean the find and take a closer look at it. We have half a Kopec of 1927. The condition of the coin is just perfect. By the way, this year of release is quite rare. 1925 is much more common. Also, the coins of such nominal value were issued in 1928. This year of release is the rarest, but 1927 is also quite rare. As you can see, I am also a little lucky today. Today's expedition was 100% successful. A few minutes later I found another silver. Most likely it is 10 kopecks. Let's clean this coin. By the way, my partner also found a signal and dug up a coin. In general, we found two coins at the same time. Let's clean both these coins. About my coin, I was a little mistaken. It is not 10 kopecks, but 15. Year of release, 1908. 
material, silver. Next, we see my partner's coin, namely one kopeka of 1894. On this coin there is some damage in the form of fence, and in general, the coin is uneven. Good find. Let's continue. Finally, we still found the old cross. It remains only to clean it up a bit. That's what we have as a result. We have an old cross on which there are remnants of black enamels. Also, here the upper beam is slightly bent and there is no suspension. I think it will not be difficult to align this cross. I will share with you one of the ways. In order to level a similar product, sometimes it is enough just to put it in a book and lightly knock it. Maybe this information will be useful to someone. We will complete today's superb search for ancient artifacts at the site of a vanished settlement. You see all the finds on the shovel. Today's result does not need any comments. We wish you all the same results and as often as possible. We wish you to experience as many positive and joyful emotions as possible during your search. I think you liked this video. If so, click on the likes and write pleasant comments below. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, then be sure to do it right now, to be aware of all the new products. Click on the bell and get new video notifications. Also do not forget to share this video on social networks and with friends. Thank you for watching. See you soon.